This is your CBS 46 News update brought to you by West Shore Home. Good evening, I'm Sean Gables. We start with brand new developments on who will fill the late Congressman John Lewis's seat. Governor Brian Kemp announcing a special election for the seat. That election is scheduled for Tuesday, September 29th. The governor had 30 days to make this decision following the congressman's death. The announcement comes as Washington, D.C. pays its respects to the late congressman. Right now, Lewis is lying in state at the U.S. State Capitol through tomorrow. The iconic civil rights leader and longtime Atlanta congressman was known as the conscious of the Congress. He is being celebrated this week ahead of his funeral. An honor guard carrying the remains of Congressman John Lewis from the plane to the hearse at Joint Base Andrews in Maryland. You can see the casket draped with an American flag. Friends and family of Congressman Lewis were greeted by House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. A funeral procession then carried the casket to the state capitol, stopping at several landmark locations along the route. That included this stop at the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial. The procession also paused briefly at the Lincoln Memorial and Black Lives Matter Plaza. <laughs> Congressman Lewis's body will remain in Washington today and tomorrow before coming to Atlanta on Wednesday. Once in Atlanta, he will lie in state at the state capitol Thursday, Funeral services for Lewis will be held at Ebenezer Baptist Church. We have new numbers from the State Department of Public Health. It reveals COVID cases are continuing to surge in Georgia and Metro Atlanta. Overall, the state has more than 170,000 cases, an increase of nearly 2,900 from this time yesterday. Gwinnett County has the most cases in the state with 15,534. We have an update today on former Republican presidential candidate and Atlanta native Herman Cain on his battle with coronavirus. A spokesperson just confirming within the hour, Kane is still hospitalized. We have that update coming from Twitter. The Post says Kane is getting treated with oxygen for his lungs, but says doctors report his other organs and his systems are strong. We first told you that he was diagnosed back in late June. Just days later, the 73-year-old was admitted to an Atlanta hospital with breathing problems. King got sick less than a week after attending a Trump rally in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Despite attending the crowded event, his team says they do not know where he contracted the virus. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News, brought to you by West Shore Home, Atlanta's one-day bath remodeler.